Wokey have made their longest league journey of the season today to Cornwall to take on Truro City. The home side sit eighth in the league after demolishing Farnborough 8-2 here on Tuesday evening. Up front for them are familiar faces, veteran ex stevenage striker Barry Hales and minuscule ex-exeter forward Les Athel. Gary Hill makes two changes to his starting eleven. Nathan Karangten and Alan Innes come in for Dale Binns and Derek Duncan in a 4-4-2 formation. And we are underway here as Woking get this game underway. It's their first ever match in Cornwall today. Woking FC TV will apologise for the camera quality here. The wind is strong and the rain is hard here. It's not a pretty day. As Adam Doyle picks up the, the ball. Truro won 8-2 against Farnborough here on Tuesday and beat Dartford away last Saturday. They are forced to be reckoned with. Here's Barry Hales on the ball, and he looks for the run of Les Affel, and Affel could be one-on-one -on -one here, and he tries to chip Howe, and he does, and Truro take the lead after no more than 30 seconds here. Well, working a stunned. Good ball from Hales. Affel was onside, and although Howe got a touch to his lob, he couldn't keep it out. Well, King got the character to come back here. King with the touch. Nathan Karangteng plays the ball into Paris Cowan Hall. We will find Moses Animola. Well, King's top scorer so far this season. Good run from Animola. Squirms into the penalty area. Crosses it in. And he could come to Karangteng. And Woking have equalised. Nathan Karangteng with his first goal for Woking. And what an important one it could be. Thundered his shot into the back of the net after good work from Adi Mola. Great work from Adi Mola there. Cowan Hall got a touch to it and Karangten finished brilliantly. Scored while on loan at Boreham Wood, but he's got his first Woking goal just now. Dan Smith plays the ball to Barry McConnell. Here's Affle. Smith with the cross, Hales in there, Al does enough to block the effort. Newton's ball looks for Elvis Hammond, Ed Palmer confronts him, and Scott Walker will make the clearance, come as far as Alan Inns, now Hammond skipping inside. Hammond with the ball to Paris, Cowan Hall! Oh, what a delightful chip that is! And Woking have taken the lead. They've come from a goal behind. And that is a sublime finish from Paris Cowan Hall. Great work from Hammond. Lovely ball into the path of Cowan Hall, who executed a delicate chip over Tim Sandekum. And after 18 minutes, Woking have turned around the deficit. Here's Smith. Look lively on the right-hand side. Hales with the strike. Aaron Hale dives on that one. Stuart Yetton. Shot won't trouble Hale. Jay Davies. Putting the ball into Moses Animola. Animola will shoot. Zaffel. Plays the ball into Yetton. And now to Smith. Crosses in low. Ricketts with the touch. Behind for a corner. Doyle with the ball forward. Cowan Hall can't keep hold of it. King with the interception. Here's Affle. Coming round ins. Play on, says the referee. Good challenge from Adam Newton who plays the ball into the path of Hammond, who will look for the run of Animola. It's Moses Animola! It's brilliant! Working our third just before half-time. Animola takes his tally to the season for nine. He cannot stop scoring at the moment. Brilliantly set up for Hammond, by Hammond, and an excellent chip from Animola. Three lobs in this game so far. They've all been superb. And on the verge of half-time, Woking have a 3-1 advantage. Here's Adam Newton. 
Tussling with Smith and getting the cross in. Addy Mola's in there, so's Cowan Hall. It will be Addy Mola. Rain has let off a bit in this second half. Addy Mola and Cowan Hall exchange passes and he tries to find Karang Tang. But he can only take the ball into Tim Sandercom. Corner for Truro, in he comes. And that could come to Scott Walker with the effort. And Howe with half a punch away. Came to Walker, was dipping. Adam Doyle was on the line. Here's Adi Mola. Can't get the ball off him, Truro. Tackle comes in from Joe Broad, but Adi Mola still has it. Still Adi Mola. Oh, and the ball, ball could fall to Elvis Howe and the outside flags up. Well, I thought that came back off a Truro player. The referee obviously felt differently. Going from Walker, will get it back and cross it in, and that falls in there. Comfortably over the crossbar. It's been a danger man for the home side, though. Cowan Hall. And Ricketts and then Hammond, and now Cowan Hall again. Lovely football from working. It's still Cowan Hall. He picks out Nathan Karanteng. And he never got hold of that. Good forward play from working, though. Walker with the cross. And I think it was Yetton in there. Affle will keep it on. Truro still have this now. Here's Marcus Martin. Carrington trying to get the ball off him. And the referee judges that to be a free kick. Scott Walker's gone over to take it. Will be Walker with the effort. Driven in low. And Adam Doyle clears after a good save from Aaron Howe. Referee judges that to be a free kick. Howe had to be alert. with the ball forward. Flicked on in there towards Hales. Still Barry Hales, he goes down, cries for a penalty. Referee not interested, shot comes in from Martin, and then Hales. And Woking survive. Giuseppe Sol with the free kick. Oh, and Alan Inns at the back post, and Adam Doyle's there, and then Inns, and Woking have four, and it's Alan Inns. And what a moment for him. It's his first working goal. And all the players are thrilled he's got it. Well, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Alan Inns. What a header. And after 84 minutes, surely that's three points in the bag in what was potentially a very difficult game as Sol whips the ball into King. But his cross shot goes wide. Hales with the flick on, could come to Affle. Les Affle with the strike. That's comfortably over the crossbar. And the final whistle goes here and working of one by four goals to one, thanks to goals from Nathan Karangteng, Paris Cowanhall, Moses Animola and Alan Inns. And make sure you're at Kingfield next Saturday, the 5th of November, when they take on Haventon Waterlooville at Kingfield.